We think the DF-95s are a great boat and really enjoy sailing them. But out of the fleet of a dozen 95s, four have cracked in the bottom of the hull around the keel box. The manufacturers and suppliers have been good replacing them under warranty. Still we wanted to find a solution to stop it happening again. The bulbs have always been supported while stored and rigs removed or detentioned. The only thing we think causes it is the compression loads and strong winds. This is a video to show you how we go about laying the fiberglass around the keel stem tube inside the hull to create the extra support that we think will stop any further cracking. We have made a couple of specialised tools. With some aluminium flat bar, we have twisted it and bent it so we can apply some sandpaper with double sided tape. With the 90 degree paintbrush, we just bolted the head of the brush to a piece of aluminium flat bar. The first thing is to sand and key up any surfaces you need the glass to bond to. After several tests, we have found that 80 grit sandpaper creates the best bond. Epoxy doesn't naturally stick to plastic very well, so it's very important to create a good key all around the areas that the epoxy will bond. After many tests, we have found that most thinners and acetones will melt this plastic. So we use metho to clean the surfaces before we bond. We use 100 gram glass. This glass is cut to 200 by 150 mil, cut in half, one for each side. One of the main tricks we have found is to bond the glass to a piece of timber. This makes it very easy to get the glass into position, which seems to be one of the hardest parts of the job. Once the glass is bonded onto the stick or piece of timber, we can easily place it into position and start your glassing. With the epoxy resin, we wet through the glass. We do not pre-wet because it makes it impossible to get the glass into position. Being only a hundred gram glass, this is very easy. Once you have wet out the hull, you can move on and take away the stick. Sometimes the glass can be difficult to remove off the piece of timber. By pre-wetting the keel stem, this can stick a little easier. Glassing the keel stem is not an easy process and I suggest not to tackle this unless you are familiar with the materials and how to use them. It is extremely important to be very careful 
glassing in the forward edge which you cannot see at all and you need to get the resin wet out in front of the keel. This needs to be done systematically to make sure you wet out all surfaces. As mentioned before, acetone does not work well for these boats and you will find that vinegar is a great substitute to clean up epoxy.